Hello and welcome to Quartz Light, your car brochure channel. In today's episode, we're going to conclude our Renault range of 1987 with the Renault commercials. Hello and welcome back to Quartz Light. If you're actually new to Quartz Light, we're a car brochure channel here on YouTube looking at car brochures from around the world for the 60s, 70s, 80s and 90s, sometimes beyond that as well. So if you think you might be interested in cars, car brochures, mixture of the two, general enthusiasts, whatever your reason, please consider subscribing. It really does help us grow the channel. Anyway, back to today's episode. Um, and like I said at the start, we've been looking through this very small, you can see how small it is, uh, Renault brush and this was the, actually the full range um, if you want to look back you'll be able to see all the cars we've looked at right at the end when we're looking now at the Renault commercials no we're not talking about advertisements but the Renault commercial vehicles the vans um, so let's dig straight into that let's have a look at what this has to offer in this 1987 brochure so here we go the two main uh, commercial vehicles we're going to look at today the Renault traffic the Renault Master. So kind of like your medium van size and then your large Renault van size as well. And within all these brochures that we're looking at um, in this particular, sorry, all these vehicles that we're looking at in this particularly small full range brochure, this is really quite a snippet of the vehicle. We'll be looking at full size brochures of these cars sometime in the future, I'm sure. So this is just to give you an idea about the vehicles. Um, in fact, I think I have a larger brochure with me for the Traffic and Master. Let me just dig that out. So that is what the full-size uh, Renault Traffic and Master brochure would look like compared to this really small one. And certainly, I've just been looking through this one today, and it is a particularly nice one, so I'm sure we'll do that one soon. But back to today, let's zoom in on this smaller one, the Renault Traffic, and read a bit more about it. Okay, so I have zoomed in on the first van that we're looking at, the Renault Traffic. Big Renault vans to offside on the front there. This little off-centre little uh, air intake here as well. And then I don't know if you can read the badge there, T1000 this particular one is. And if you notice, the front end is flat. I do remember the larger engine versions. It had a little bit of a, like a part that come came out here I think particularly the larger diesels to accommodate the larger engines so these Renault traffics the first generation they came out in 1980 and went a long way you always remember think about cars they don't really stick around too long the majority of them at least when I mean, this went to around about 2001 so it served a long time um, in this particular first generation Let's look at some of the text and learn a little bit more about it. So it starts off by saying the Renault Traffic Master improved in styling and performance for the 1987 model year, the practical, reliable and endlessly versatile Renault Traffic Master range of light commercial vehicles provides trouble free transport for a huge variety of businesses. Comfortable, easy to drive and manoeuvrable, they are particularly suitable for local traders such as builders, bakers, decorators and electricians. The high roof version adapts easily as mobile workshops. Then it talks a little bit about the dimensions, I'm not going to go through all these dimensions but you know, what you would expect, you know, a high roof and a low roof, more room in the high roof obviously. Then it goes on to say the straight sided shape and the options of wheelbase and roof height give a range of volumes and the various volumes mentioned there. Maximum payload on the traffic T1300 is now 1375 kilograms. Remember the one picture, one pictured wasn't that maximum payload, it was a T1000. It goes on to tell us the Renault Traffic offers a choice of a 1397cc, which sounds very small for that large van, doesn't it? Uh, the new 
1721 cc or the improved 1995 cc petrol engines and the 2068 cc diesel now i'm sure that diesel would have been the one with that bit of a nose on the front there and then it goes on to tell us more about the master let's just have a look at the master before we continue i always thought the the renault master was a little bit of an oddball and probably for that reason it's probably one of my favorite vans of this particular be period because they really stood out of looking very peculiar didn't they particularly this um, unusual change in um, roof height and this really big sliding door that kind of like curved at the front made it look very unusual and then they added certain little styling cues like this little circular handle um, or at least circular recess for the handle at least look very unusual kind of like almost reminds me of kind of like fiat stradas fiat ritmo that sort of thing very unusual We've got this tiny little uh, indicator on here renault badge again to one side and uh, we count the air intake is this is actually in the center this time and then this really big uh, renault badge on the front and these are a, bit, a, a higher payload than the uh, traffic of course because it's like the larger van so these have got the five wheel nut studs on there as well and like i say just an odd looking car van with this slope in front and this really bulbous rear really could only be like a french van the french vans always looked a little bit different didn't they this is no exception and probably why it makes me think you know i really like these vans but probably an unusual option to take rather than a big transit but there we go they were certainly sold many of them and i saw many of them on uk roads let's look at a bit more about the detail for this particular van so it tells us the master offers a 1995 cc petrol now with electronic ignition or 2445 cc diesel front wheel drive light steering and a small turning circle give relaxing control for stop and start working days now this is interesting the new four wheel drive traffic 4x4 will soon be available in petrol and diesel versions what an amazing van i would love one of these in four wheel drive version what an amazing vehicle that would be it goes on to tell us push button radio supportive seating and plenty of storage space in the cab reduce stress for the working driver i'm kind of like just thought then wouldn't these be great as a camper in four-wheel drive versions that would have been something else the clean integral design increases fuel economy and adds to safety internal safety features include wide seat belts laminated windscreen and impact absorbing steering column chassis cabs are available with rear wheel drive and high ground clearance for off-road use there are tipper and downside versions you can customize bodies can be built by your own Renault approved converters please ask for details so kind of like competing with the sort of transit id you've got lots of different versions in fact the other lloyd's brush actually shows all them different versions so like i said we'll certainly have to have a look at that at some point just a, a notice just before we move on actually a little bit of a, like a grab handle there isn't it for i guess jumping up accessing the the windscreen changing the wipers that's a unusual little feature on those as well but like i said the overall design i think is what appeals to me it looks like such an oddball vehicle again these would have been like first generation versions which would have launched in 1980 as well there are more convert commercial vehicles so let's have a quick look at those so the smaller vans we did touch on we actually looked at the renault 5 van when we looked at the renault 5 itself but there's also the renault extra and these were interesting little vans these renault extras i think these were called the um, renault express in france i'm thinking maybe wrong correct me if i'm wrong um, but also in some, some certain parts of europe i think there was also called the renault rapid so a few different names they were known as strangely though like the renault 5 van this is also based on a renault 5 unusually obviously an extended wheelbase 
Um, but I think the interesting thing about these is, um, unlike the Renault 5 van, which used the three door larger front door, these used the front door of the four door Renault 5, so it had a smaller door actually. Um, I guess to uh, enable it to have this larger area in the bag back there for keeping things. I know it kind of like think of these Renault um, Renault extras. Really think of them as like a replacement of those those very unusual Renault Four vans. This is kind of like what replaced it. And like those, they had that sort of like a giraffe door at the top there, so you could open the top up and you can have like ladders poking out and things like that. So a nice little uh, van overall. And I think I've even seen pickup versions in in in, in um, photographs as well, so that would have been an unusual option as well. Let's just have a look at some of the text. So here we go. It says nippy with outstanding stability. The very capacious extra is built for efficiency with minimum off the road time. The three versions are the extra 1.1 with 1108cc petrol engine, four speed, extra 1.4. 1397cc petrol, 5 speed electronic ignition, and the extra 1.6D 1595 diesel 5 speed, which I'm sure would have been the uh, one to go for at this time. Fully opening rear doors and the Renault rear flap optional give access to 2.6 meters cubed of clear load space. Renault build a better van. And then the little Renault address and the Renault badge design at the time. And of course it says at the bottom here, Renault recommends ELF lubricants. A little interesting bit about the brochure itself. Designed and produced by John Cordery, Associates Limited for the marketing, marketing department, Renault UK. So there we go. Renault's at light commercial range for 1987. And I'm sure we'll come back like we will with all these models in this particular range and look at them in a full size brochure coming soon. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you do remember any of these Renault Light commercial range, please jot it in the comments. I certainly enjoy reading those and I do read every one. Please like and subscribe if you've not done already. But for now, we'll say thank you for watching. Please do take care and we'll see you very soon. Goodbye.